I'm up here though. Okay. Uh, could you please uh, state and spell your name for me? State and spell my name for you? Mm -hmm. My name is Max Johnson Dugan. M A X J O H N S O N D U G A N. Max Johnson Dugan. And uh, what's your affiliation with Walking Log? Uh, I work. I work as the student group leader for. Yeah. <laughs> I work as the group leader for the Westchester Network for Walking the Walk. Great, thank you. So, Max, why should someone participate in Walking the Walk? Someone should participate in Walking the Walk because they feel they have some special inclination or interest in doing it a favor. Past that, I'm going to redo that because the chat yep, just went Thank you. Um, someone, someone should participate. <laughs> Someone should participate in Walking the Walk because they have a special interest or inclination in doing interfaith work. Um, it's a very fun program. It's very educational. It's social. You learn a whole broad set of skills, but you could probably get some of those things um, in other programs in at some degree. But the interfaith component of it is what really makes it a special and unique program for high school students. Great, wonderful. It sounds um, disjointed, doesn't it? A robot no. talking about it. You sound fine. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, um, I'm, I'm, how has no, the so walking the walk? Are you good? No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I'm just mumbling to myself. How has walking the walk uh, impacted you? Walking the walk has impacted me because I had to learn a whole new set of skills. Walking the walk has impacted me. Uh, uh, wake back up. Walking the walk has impacted me because it's helped me to develop a whole new set of skills for leading youth conversations on a variety of topics. While all, virtually all of the discussions we had related in some way to interfaith work, um, interfaith as, a, as an activity or the structures around interfaith are very um, transitive. Like you could plug in interfaith, you could plug in like ethnicity or um, culture or economic relations. So in that sense, it's definitely a double skill set as a, for leading activities. And two, it just, you know, I have, a, I have a personal connection with the network that, I have a personal connection with the network with which we worked, um, because my family is from that network, from Westchester going back a little ways. So, um, I got to reconnect with my past a bit, which was very nice. Great. Uh, so what's your experience been like as a group leader? Um, well, one, I would say it's been very educational. I haven't, I've never done a lot of the activities that I did this past year, had to lead this past year. And so, in that sense, I developed a whole new set of skills, which is great. I'm very happy about that. It's been very useful as well, like, as I've, in other jobs that I've had to do since then. Um, and secondly, uh, oh, it was very easy. Secondly, it was a very very easy job, actually. Um, my The network out in Westchester is very well organized already. The mentors and the interfaith leaders are very welcoming and friendly and and open and inviting. Um, and Marilyn and the rest of the Interfaith Center were extremely supportive the entire way. Whenever I needed any help, they were there 100%. So it was much easier than I think people thought it was. For me. Yeah. Great, wonderful. Uh, so finally, what is something that you would like to share with your network? Um, something I would like to share with my network is that uh, they're wonderful. Uh, I'm extremely fortunate to have the religious leaders that we had there. Um, among them, like Annalie Korengel, Masha Rishi, Abdul Maurice, um, and of course the Godfather himself, John Woodcock, who is uh, who is one of a kind and truly like. One of the most angelic people I've ever met in my life. Um, they're really, really an exceptional group out there in terms of religious leaders and mentors. And then the youth out there are very lucky to have such great mentors and religious leaders in their lives. I, if I had religious leaders like that, I would have been a much more. Uh, I shouldn't. I probably shouldn't say this, but if I had religious leaders like that, I would have been a much more dedicated youth, um, religiously speaking. And but also that the youth out there are very exceptional themselves, and I'm excited to see what they do. They're going to do wonderful things in their lives. So yeah, okay. those are that. I can redo all of those if you want to have a second take, just in case. What do you think? How do you feel about them? I'm, I'm completely fine with them. The way okay, they are. then I think we're good. Okay. We're going to stop Call recording. Us.